Hello everybody, this is my first official YouTube video, and today I'm going to be painting the front cover of this little journal. It's from the Dollarama, which is our 99 cent or dollar store here in Canada. And um, I'm going to be painting this reference photo, which I found online. I'll put the link for it in the description. And I'm not trying to make it look exactly like the picture. I'm just trying to have some fun and practice doing landscapes and also get myself to be more inspired to use this. So basically, I am painting a picture of Italy because this journal I'm going to be using to try and teach myself Italian. And I've tried to learn a language probably every year. I've made a new goal that I want to learn a new language. And I'm really fortunate. I grew up in Quebec, which is the French-speaking province in Canada. So I already speak English and French. But I learned French when I was like, you know, a kid, like five. It's so easy because I don't remember any learning progress. Like, I want to teach myself a language and I've tried Duolingo. Probably everyone who's wanted to learn a language has tried those ways. And I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's cool because you can see your progress, but then at the same time, it's like, like you can see your progress is in like the little tabs on the site that say, you're 50% done this, you, you have a streak, but like I never feel like I'm actually making progress, and it's really like, I don't know, it doesn't make me want to keep going, and I always quit, and I've tried with Spanish so many times because being in North America, that's, you know, the next most spoken language and I just like to be able to speak every language I like to be able to speak to as many people as possible and I always thought Spanish would be easiest because first thing I could get to Spanish speaking people easier so I could be immersed in the culture and also I speak French so I thought that would be easy but I decided to change it up this year and instead of going with Spanish I would try Italian because Italian and French apparently share the most common Personalities. I don't know what they share to be honest, but they're both romantic languages, like the romance languages, and I think that'll help. I don't know. Anyways, so you know, I decided to stop trying to use the Duolingo method and just try to do keywords. And I was listening to this podcast. It's called Beautiful Anonymous. If you're interested in listening to just random people talk, I'm sure I'll mention this podcast many more times on this channel. It's incredible. It's just random people call in and speak to this comedian named Chris Gethard and just talk about their life and it's just beautiful and they the only caller I've ever heard from Canada call in called in once and was saying they were doing a road trip from Quebec down to somewhere in South America and their car broke down in Mexico and basically spoke zero Spanish and spoke French of course being born in Quebec and this family set her up with a mechanic and said, here's two books and an English-Spanish dictionary. You have to wait two weeks for your car. And she basically taught herself Spanish in two weeks by translating the books. And I don't know, I feel like that's a way cooler method <laughs> to try and learn a language because, I mean, I remember when I was learning French, of course we did, you know, normal uh, vocabulary and that kind of stuff. But also our teachers would make us watch movies in French with English subtitles and make us, you know, read simple texts. And we did a lot of, you know, normal things you would do with language instead of just learning words that you speak. Speaking language is so much harder than learning how to read it and understand it in general. So anyways, I was watching Damon and Joe's channel, which if you've never heard of Damon and Joe, if you love traveling, you should definitely check them out. They're so cool. And Joe was talking about some of her favorite books, and she recommended this book, um, which is in Italian. And I think the general plot is it's this lady living in Italy who's not happy with her life, and she decides to change it like 10 minutes every day she puts in work. I don't know, honestly. I trust Joe. I trust the two of them. If she recommends a book, you know, it's probably going to be something up my alley because I think, I don't know, I think their community is really cool because everyone sort of has general interests that are shared anyways so I got the book and I'm going to work on translating it and inside this journal I hope to you know keep track of the words I'm learning and maybe make some cue cards and that sort of stuff and I thought if there's a painting on the front cover of Italy that'll inspire me and be like you want to go to Italy yeah you do you want to go everywhere here's a little painting that you made yourself open this book and start working on it anyways <laughs> so uh about this painting I guess 
Um, the paints I'm using are from my local art store. It's the cheapest paints they have. You know, we're not going for high quality here. We're going for a high quality painting, but not a high quality product. And um, I've wanted to make YouTube videos for a long time, but I don't have a tripod. I have a camera and I have a phone, obviously, and I was putting it off for so long because I'm like, I don't have what I need. I want to be able to film certain ideas. What's the point in filming my good ideas if no one's going to be watching it? And I think just growing up in this age of YouTube, I mean, I'm 20 years old. And so YouTube's been around basically my whole young adult life. I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel and I've always wanted to have that community and always wanted to just grow this. It's not a fan base. I don't want a fan base. I want like people so if I travel or anything like I just know people around the world and have these connections you know like I don't want people to watch me because they think I'm interesting to watch I want people to watch me because they would want to hang out with me in real life and I just want to build you know just friendships across the world and I think that'd be so cool and I don't know I have wanted to make YouTube for a long time and so the other day I was like you know what I need to get off this high horse of thinking that I'm going to have good quality at the beginning because nobody does and I just need to film a video. And so if you look on the left side of this video, you'll see a stack of books <laughs> because I stacked up like at least 10 hardcover books and stuck my phone on top with a few more hardcover books on top to balance it. And I started filming. And if you see the little transitions where the screen goes purple, it's because my phone would die or I would run out of storage space and so I had to restart you know so again we're not going for high quality here but anyways also with this painting I'm not trying to replicate the actual image because I don't know what it is with me I think maybe because in school they want you to be so focused on realism I just have this thing against realism. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to have fun. I just want to paint and want to paint. And for me, painting realistic stuff, it doesn't bring me down so much so as it... It takes so much time and then all you end up with is a copy, you know? So I love to just take something realistic and go sort of realistic, but also just do it stylistically and more you know what you would see in a movie like what would you see, what you would see in like a beautiful animated movie that's more the style I'm going for I guess I don't know if I necessarily achieved it but it's all practice and I have so many videos planned out because I love watching art YouTube and I just love watching YouTube in general again I grew up with it you know and it's crazy because I remember you know back in the day I used to just watch tv shows on YouTube because it was like you know, there were no rules back then. So everyone uploaded TV shows and clips from things you could already watch on TV. And now it's like this whole community on YouTube. And I don't know, it's so cool to me. I would love to create YouTube videos. I have ideas all the time of series I want to create. And so, you know, I thought, let me just film this YouTube video, put it out here. And it's not going to be the highest quality, but it's something I'm doing anyways. I was already going to paint the front cover of this journal. And... I hope that I will keep a schedule because what I realize is I've uploaded probably at least 10 to 20 different videos on different channels throughout my whole life. Because again, growing up with YouTube, it's like wanting to be a rock star. You know, like I don't have to have musical talent, but everyone at some point has wanted to make music because it's just who doesn't love music, right? Same thing with YouTube. I think everyone's going to be drawn to wanting to do what allows them to first thing not work a regular job and second thing be free and be creative and have a community and so I want to create YouTube videos and the goal for me would be to create YouTube videos but also stay consistent because I have so much trouble with that so I hope that by March maybe I'll have some sort of consistency and maybe get a tripod so I can film easier but my goal is that for the whole month of April, I will post a video every single day. Just to push myself, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so this painting is basically done. As you can see, the lighting kind of sucks at this point in the video because the stack of books was blocking my window. So maybe I'll force myself to go outside in this like minus 20 degree weather and try and film because that's, you know, where the best lighting is. And, um... 
I hope to stay consistent and keep posting videos and just stay honest with people on YouTube because I love that. So here's the final image. I took it in front of the light so you could actually see what it looks like. And there's the book that Joe recommended. Um, and yeah, so here you could see the Dollarama sticker on the back. Maybe I'll paint the back cover of it. I'm not sure yet. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to be posting more videos in the future. Stay consistent again. And I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you.